Well, I'm, uh, today I'm going to finish the uh, overall Rocky discussion uh, uh, series of videos I've been doing, uh, as of now, um, with uh, Creed 2, the uh, sequel to the first Creed, obviously, and uh, this was a uh, very good. Um, I don't know if I would say it's better than the f first film, or first one, uh, uh, Creed. Um, but it's very good. Um, after the <clears throat> fight at the end of the first film, he, uh, uh, Adonis has been, uh, you know, uh, doing pretty well. And uh, uh, in uh, Ukraine, um, Ivan Drago's been uh, training his son, Victor, um, for a chance for the two of them to, you know, arrive and uh, just fight. Um, prior to that, to that though, um, uh, Donnie proposes to Bianca, who uh, says yes. All the while, a lot of talk about, you know, Victor, um, Drago wanted to fight Creed, is talked about, and, uh, Adonis goes to ask, uh, Rocky, he, uh, Rocky isn't, or, or says he wants to fight, a, a, uh, Victor, you know, Rocky isn't to, uh, totally, um, on board because, well, last time uh, he uh, saw uh, his father killed by Ivan Drago, and so he uh, isn't all on board with this, and so uh, uh, Bianca Adonis go to L.A., uh, California, to see his mother, uh, uh, Mary Ann. I didn't say her name last time, probably because I uh, messed up uh, uh, Felicia uh, Richard's name or didn't pronounce it correctly. And so I'm like, I'm just probably going to just uh, mess up a whole bunch of names. So just for the, uh, you know, on the safe side, I just didn't say as many names as perhaps I would have normally, but yeah, she, uh, you know, they're talking and, uh, he's about to bring up how he wants to fight, um, uh, uh, uh fight, uh, uh, Ivan Drago's son when she makes a comment about how, you know, Bianca's pregnant and, no, oh, they're not, uh, you know, she's not pregnant, no, and, uh, but after that, they, uh, go and have a pregnancy test, and it's positive, so, that's certainly a surprise <laughs> to them, but, you know, they're happy, and, uh, um, they, uh, are making sure that, uh, or, or at least he's making sure to just tell her, his mom, what he plans to do. And she just knows, like, you know, you're going to do what you're going to do. You know, you're a grown man. You can do whatever. And, but, you know, uh, Rocky is not going to be there. And so he goes back to uh, Little Duke's place to train and to see if he can train him. And he, he does. And so, you know. He and Victor have their fight, and uh, Adonis loses, but he remains the champ, because, you know, during the couple years after the first film, he has become the champ, um, and as a result, um, and he remains the champ because, you know, when he was down, he got punched in the face and knocked down, so that like disqualified him like you know like he you know might have won 
had he just, you know, Adonis just stayed there, like after I like, broke his ribs, it wasn't able to like, get back up, or if it did get back up, you knock him down. Yeah, he didn't do that. He just punched him right in the face. Um, which is not a very smart thing to do, especially if you, you know, want to win. You know, if the guy's down, you, he's down, and you'll knock him back down if he gets up. And, of course, people are worried that it's going to be a repeat of the fight that Apollo Creed had with Ivan Drago, but it isn't. Uh, also, prior to that, uh, prior to the fight, and um, Donna Stock and Iraqi, um, I even uh, goes uh, to uh, Rocky's restaurant, and the two of them talk, and he explains how after he lost the fight to Rocky, he lost everything. He lost his wife, and she left him. Um, uh, all the respect he had was gone, and Russia basically didn't want him, so he had to live in Ukraine. Um, yeah, I guess took his son with him, too. And so, uh, that's unfortunate for Ivan Drago. Uh, excuse me. Uh, but, uh, you know, especially with the, uh, new, uh, cut of Rocky IV where, you know, Drago is seen as more, in a more sympathetic light, you know, it really just... Uh, sucks uh, for him now he had all this you know, like all this praise and was uh, well respected and everything and only for that uh, as soon as he loses it's all gone that's just that really sucks whereas with you know Rocky he was celebrated and loved um So, uh, Rocky comes to, uh, California to talk to, to him, but, you know, Giannis is upset, obviously, uh, that he wasn't there to help him, like, you know, he didn't want him around. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, you know, Adonis is, uh, has to get better, and, Also has to get ready to being a, uh, a father. Um, all the while he uh, isn't sure of what he's exactly going to do. And, you know, uh, eventually, of course, you know, he decides to fight uh, Victor Drago again. <clears throat> after his daughter's been born. And, um, you know, uh, everybody in this is really good. Um, from uh, all the people who are in the previous movies, you know, not just Cree, but, you know, Ivan, you know, Dolph Lundgren and Bridget Nielsen as his wife who returns, uh, at which point, you know, Victor isn't uh, totally thrilled of because, you know, she left them and... Uh, the people who are like now praising them, he's very uncomfortable like at this dinner. He's, it's like a, like, uh, uh, boxing shorts to fight in. There's Drago on it, and he isn't really, you know, um, comfortable with all this like attention by all these people because you know these are the people who kicked him and his father out of Russia doesn't know his mother, so, you know, you know, just as difficult as things are for uh, Donis, things are very difficult for uh, Victor, but, you know, he, but, but, you know, he, uh, Ivan, I should say, he believes in his son, and he wants him to go through with it and just uh, be well and just do 
do everything he can, and Rocky decides to help uh, Adonis train, and as he does so, he, you know, they have to change up the method as to, of how he trained before. You know, he has to know what he's fighting for, not just because of, like, what happened to his father, you know, all those years ago. He needs to do it for something else. He can't just do it for, like, might be seen as revenge or whatever the case may be. He has to do it for the the right reason. Um, and so he, he he knows what that reason is, and so he starts to train, and it's very brutal, and basically it's... Um, I see it as sort of like a way like how Rocky Balboa had to train to some extent. He couldn't just do it the uh, conventional way. You know, he had a, you know, in Rocky IV they say he had like he built himself by his like a his piece of iron and, uh, going up against Ivan Drago. Whereas with him, with a uh, Adonis Creed, he kind of has to do something similar. He has to take the pain. He has to like basically like the pain. He wants to wants him to keep hitting him and just keep going and uh finally when the uh you know the fight happens uh and after he's trained and uh, we see both of course both of them training and see their how both of them are training and how different they are and just how uh you know obviously um victor is bigger than Adonis, just like, uh, you know, he was bigger than, uh, or his father, you know, uh, Ivan was bigger than uh, Apollo and uh, Rocky. But, uh, you know, he uh, eventually, uh, you know, they eventually fight and, you know, for a good while, um, you know, uh, Adonis is getting beat up pretty well. Um, and he gets hurt a lot. Uh, and he's, and all the while, he's able to land a good hit, blows to Victor. But he is very, you know, <clears throat> you know he's hurt. Uh, but not as much as uh, Adonis, but as the fight keeps going and everything, and he just keeps going at it, he takes the pain and he doesn't you know stop every time he gets on the ground he gets back up and um, and it's interesting how uh, he gets uh, by the end of the fight he gets uh, Victor uh, in a corner and keeps hitting him over and over and he's not really able to get out of it or just really do much of anything at that point. And then uh, Ivan uh, throws in the towel because, you know, you know, Rocky, uh, I even said earlier, Rocky, he should have uh, thrown in the towel and he didn't. And he has to regret that for the rest of, or he'll live with that for the rest of his life regarding uh, uh, Apollo. You know, he should have stopped the fight. He should have been the one in that fight, but he, but Apollo wanted to do it. And so he did. Um, <clears throat> and it's just very, um, <clears throat> you know, there are definite parallels between this and the fourth Rocky film. Um, obviously intentional, uh, no doubt, but I'm sure some think that's kind of predictable in some way because, you know, not too much is all that different other than, you know, it's like the next generation, you know, instead of Apollo Creed or, or Rocky Balboa, now it's Donna's Creed instead of Ivan Drago, it's Victor Drago and Rocky and uh, uh, Ivan are training, you know, uh, Donna's and uh, Victor. And um, it's really, it's really cool to I think it's kind of cool after watching these back, back to back just to see how all this uh, kind of correlates and relates to the other movies of the franchise and what are different. Um, 
another thing, you know, uh, uh, Rocky mentions how, you know, how his son Robert, you know, has a child, you know, has a grandson. You know, he has a grandson, so he, uh, but he hasn't seen him. He's like, oh, he's like, I can probably hide now, probably, but he hasn't talked to him because he doesn't know what to say. Um, and early on in the movie, you know, he's talking to Adrian at her grave. He's like, he doesn't know what to do. Like, he wants to call, and sometimes he calls and waits until, like, the phone is picked up, but then he hangs up because he doesn't know what to say. And so that's something that's, you know, that was kind of mentioned in the first movie. I moved to Vancouver which is definitely in, a, in Washington. It wasn't possibly, you know, like uh, British Columbia, but, you know, I said that last time because, like, well, you know, might as well throw that out there. You know, man, who knows? Maybe just they, he and his girlfriend, or maybe now wife, don't know. But, uh, you know, they uh, might have a... Uh, <clears throat> gone and uh, you know went on a vacation there and liked it and might have moved there but, but you know yeah. by the end of the movie um, Donis visits uh, Apollo's grave and introduces Bianca and uh, her uh, or and and his granddaughter and uh, who uh, Rocky is uh, the, the the Godfather to her, so that's you know, you know, that's pretty cool. And at the end, uh, Rocky uh, uh, shows up at uh, Robert's house and uh, sees his grandson, and um, you know he's reconnecting with his son, who was played by. The same guy who was in Rocky Six, so that's nice that they got the same guy back. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's it's this movie is really good. Um, I know some might have thought it was pretty um, predictable with the various parallels with the uh, with Rocky Four, but. I think in a movie like this, with that kind of story, it's going to be kind of predictable to some extent. But, you know, it's... Uh, overall, it's still good. It's not a bad film. Stallone, you know, aside from acting in this, he also wrote this movie. So he wrote this as, as well, and also a producer. So, um, so he had an actual hand in the writing again um, because Creed was the first movie he didn't write um, but you know he wrote this one or co-wrote it and so it's pretty cool that he uh, had his input in the movie uh, yeah, and it's very good uh, don't enjoy it as much as the first Creed but it's still very enjoyable um uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, Creed Three. Um, it'll probably be out in a another like a few months or so, maybe late May, um, June perhaps. But uh, yeah, whenever that's out, I'll definitely get it and watch it and uh, see what I think. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, it's really all I have to say. It's a very good movie. Very enjoyable. It's definitely one that's, uh, worth looking at. Uh, you know, it isn't a cheesy film or anything. I know some of the Rocky movies can be kind of cheesy at times, perhaps like some of the sequels, but... You know, this, this spin-off series so far has been very good. And um, I've heard 
a lot of good things about Creed 3, so uh, when I see it, I will definitely, you know, uh, I will definitely uh, give my thoughts on it and uh, basically complete, well, Rocky franchise as is. But uh, that's really all for now. But uh, I hope all of you are just doing well. Hope everybody's had a great day. Hope you all have a great weekend or, or have had a great week and upcoming weekend. I hope uh, it'll be great. And uh, yeah, see you all next time and just uh, take care. Bye.